This best ball draft 3.0 edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. Bet ten dollars at WinBet and get two hundred dollars in free bets. Bet big, win bigger with WinBet. Download the WinBet app now or visit wy and and bet.com and start winning today. We're also brought to you by Coors Light. Get mountain cold refreshment delivered straight to your door via Drizzly or Instacart by going to CoorsLight.com/sgp. That's CoorsLight.com. Slash SGP. We're also brought to you by Stable Duel. Stable Duel is a horse racing DFS app where you can play free and paid games for real cash prizes. You can win as much as forty thousand dollars with one entry. Head over to StableDuel.com to get started today. We're also brought to you by Prop Swap, America's marketplace to buy and sell sports bets. Use promo code SGP on your first deposit to receive up to five hundred dollars in bonus cash. Head over to PropSwap.com or download the Prop Swap app today. And in honor of the Masters, we're giving away a tailor made driver. Just go to sg.pn slash masters or click the contest link in the SGPN app. Hey, this is LeGarrette Blunt, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. Everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks Ryan. Real money Kramer. What's happening, Kram? Dog. Mmm, Sean. We're back in the streets. Yes. The best ball streets. Best ball streets. Best ball's fun. Midday Monday. It, it, afternoon it's, drive time. It's it's fun to do it. Uh A, because best ball drafting is is pretty fun overall. But honestly, let's be real. It's just an excuse to talk it, about the it's, yeah. National Football League. It's football. Yes, exactly. That's, it's and we apologize for not putting out a Sunday football episode. Uh, you know, national championship on deck. Felt like we would do it. Yeah, Monday, wanted right? to keep that uh, our national championship picks pod as the uh, as the first thing you saw when you woke up Monday morning. Catch up with that. We will be announcing the winner of the DJ dance oh, yeah. and the final four competition on uh, tomorrow's show. Tomorrow's show, we will be talking the masters with the uh, co-hosts of the golf gambling podcast. Both of them are just one. I, I, are I, they attached I'm, at the hip? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's both of both of them. We got the complete odd couple, obviously check out golf gambling podcast for all your golf gambling needs. And again, we're giving away a tailor made driver. I don't know how we could afford this, but sg.pn slash masters or you can just uh, check it out in the app. There's a link there as well. You hit the contest tab, and you are good to go there. Oh, cr- yeah, and, and, and if you're not a short guy, sportsgamblingpodcast.com/slash/masters also works. Really, it does. Yeah, oh, there you go. Talking National Football League. If you're looking to bet on the NFL, you got to do it over at the Win with the Win Betting app. Bet big. Win bigger with winbet.com. Got you covered on, uh, oh man, so much, so much action. They just posted the uh, college football win totals for the SEC. Alabama, Arkansas, they're all on the board. Of course, you can get the uh, NFL draft number one overall pick is available on the win. The number two overall pick as well. First quarterback selected, first wide receiver selected. Get them all over at the win bet or download the win betting app. And again, bet $10, get $200 in free bets. Oh man, you got to do it over at winbet.com or download the win betting app. Offer subject to change terms and conditions at winbet.com. Must be 21 or older and present in the state where play through win bet is available. If you're someone who has a game, you probably call 1-800-522. 4700 and Ryan, we were uh we're going to fire up the draft so if you're watching live on YouTube still time to hang around and we will f- announce when we're officially going to uh go live with the draft before we get to that Well, though, if you haven't signed up yet, underdog. Yes. Head over there. What's the promo code, Sean? SGPN. SGPN. Sign up there. Get ready to hop in the draft room. We'll do it. It's super flex this time, just so you know. You got to be a real DJ. Yes, exactly. 
super flex, right. get that taken care of. And we're going to do a, uh, we got a brand new segment on the show. Oh, I'm sorry. Just getting some refreshments ready. This draft day lock is brought to you by Coors Light. Every day can be draft day when you're enjoying mountain cold refreshment that's made to chill. Just go to CoorsLight.com slash SGP to get yours delivered today. We're going to be t- breaking down some NFL draft props. Ryan, we just did a uh, FSGA futures draft where we, we, did. we selected Drake London. We did. I, I think the price we selected at him just as of late last week was plus 170. Now over at WinBet, he's down to minus 110 to be the first receiver selected. I know Todd McShay had him going, uh, had him as the first receiver. In his, in his mock in February know, Todd, 16th. Todd McShay, who's that? He works for another four letter <laughs> network. You know who has Drake London as the number one wide receiver? I've had Sean. I you went, were all over this. Again, guy. not to give a Co-signed. prop. I, I, I went on another four letter network when I was out in Vegas. Uh, and I think I think one of maybe this was a call in, but one of the things that came up were two props I like. Drake London to be the first wide receiver. Looking great as the price is plummeting. Continues to drop. And then the, we've talked about this Aquanu being the first lineman. When when we first touched on this, he was a, a plus. I want to say plus one forty. So uh, look, we're plugged into the draft, Sean. People yes, should listen to us. We are, draft. and uh, we we also, may have sources. We also like uh, Malik Willis at plus four hundred right now over at WinBet as the second overall pick. Just a couple of the uh, draft day. Uh, bets that we like, Ryan. What would, real quick? What is your case over him over Garrett Wilson? Because it seems neck and neck between London and Wilson. Garrett Wilson for the first receiver drafted. I'm with you. I'm I'm on board with Drake London. At but some, make a case for the people. Ohio State wide receivers. Yeah. I, I mean, at what point do we have to question their ability to perform at the top level? We've seen first round picks come from Ohio State before. And it just doesn't always work out. That combined with the fact that Drake London checks every box, and I think you he really s- does. You he saw looks it, like a receiver. You saw it after the after the combine. He checks all the postseason workout boxes, but he also, if you watch him, he's a USC receiver. What do those guys do? For the most part, they they perform pretty solid. I mean, Nelson Aguilar. Okay, you're right. Not all of them, but uh, I I think it's just purely he checks more of the boxes. I think the only way Garrett Wilson goes ahead is if it's a, one you know it only takes one team. But I think the majority, the consensus of the NFL front offices would have Drake London over. Yeah, Garrett and Wilson. I'm I'm hearing the latest buzz is that he will end up on the Atlanta Falcons, who need a receiver desperately. Garrett Wilson or Drake London? Uh, Drake London. Yeah, see, I think what what caused the Garrett Wilson steam is some people, some notable quote unquote experts, put out in their mock drafts that Garrett Wilson, uneducated because they knew they ne- needed a receiver, weren't doing, weren't grinding like we are, didn't know how much they actually like Drake London, and I think that's what skewed the marketplace because uh, Garrett Wilson was a heavy favorite, uh, like we said when we did this draft. I think he was minus one fifty, so plus one uh, seventy five down to near minus even odds. Great value. Get on so, it while you still can. Lock it up for the Coors Light Draft Day, a draft lock of the day. And remember, whatever draft day you're celebrating, remember to celebrate responsibly. Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. CoorsLight.com slash SGP. Do right, we, are we required to tell our audience to be responsible? That it feels yes. like a given, right? One hundred percent. They're they, they're going to be legal requirement. <laughs> I feel like if anything, our audience needs to hear the disclaimer more than anything. Uh, just like limit yourself, kind of take it easy. There's 32 picks the first night. So pace (laughs) yourself as someone who did a live stream powered through uh, being uh, brought, brought to uh, some serious uh, hallucinations almost post uh, vaccine last year, five hours. That's a long first round. So pace yourself. All right, what are we doing? We gonna we gonna do this? I'm ready. I'm in the lobby. Right, I'm let, about to hop well, in. Hold on. Let's uh, let's get let's get it up on the screen so everyone can see. All right. So uh, we're going into the big board, big but, board, but super flex, but super flex. Uh, Thirty seconds per pick. I'm gonna poke in first, Sean. See if it's okay to enter. <laughs> this is get my in. favorite now, part of the show. Enter, enter, enter. Go, go, go. Only ten dollars. Again, these are great. You should not be. As a grown man, or in the three percent chance, a woman <laughs> listening to this show, you you owe it to yourself never to do a mock draft again. You're an adult. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you have access to five or ten dollars, 
and you get a better draft experience. Like if you're serious about drafting, <laughs> you, you should be doing five or ten dollars. Uh, you should be doing these drafts versus a mock draft, which is zero dollars. And again, you have that long shot lottery ticket as well, uh, and they're fun as hell. I think it also, um, you know, to your point, the they seem to be pretty good about creating these low dollar contests that you can do, you know, five or ten dollars on underdog. Maybe you're an FFPC guy, twenty five, thirty three dollars. So you can really, uh, and to Sean's point, you start picking up some positions, you build a portfolio. Next thing you know, you're an investment agent. Well, you're not just a DJ and doing mock drafts. Yeah. Well, let, no let, let's talk strategy. I know I went to quarterbacks early because it is the super flex. I got worried, but then looking at some of the other people's roster builds who went, you know, like a Jonathan Taylor, Christian McCaffrey, and then waited on quarterbacks. Didn't work out horribly for them. No, it didn't. Um, I, I maybe I'm going to split the difference and go one quarterback, one stud, a receiver, running back, or or maybe I just wait and pick up some scraps because I do think there are some fun. Uh, quarterback slate and Malik Willis. The more I think about it, I think he's going to be a day one starter and he's a running quarterback. We've seen this so many times a la RG3. I'm saying even what again. we saw out of uh, not Jalen a running Hurts. quarterback, even what we saw to Jalen Hurts his his first year. Jalen Hurts running quarterback. Yeah. You don't think so? You don't think uh, Malik Willis is going to run? I don't think he's going to run on the level of those guys. I don't think we should be calling him Justin Fields or or Jalen Hurts. I think he's more well, not Justin Fields, one hundred percent. No, it's more like a Trevor Lawrence, uh, Zach. Well, like they're like he's useful with his legs, but I don't think it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be a part of the game plan. I think he's limited as a passer, so he's going oh. to be panicking a bunch and dra- and running. Three spots left. Tell some friends. Hop on in. Doing these uh, live on youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast. Make sure you subscribe. And uh Andrew Rab, again, he is a uh he is a hardcore best ball draft guru. Uh him and Justin Marks, uh, they were talking on Twitter, talking about stacks they were targeting, or just that they like a lot for value. Uh he's done 23 of these uh drafts so far. Oh my god. Still right. doesn't feel like enough. Honorary <laughs> guest on the uh, 24 hour live stream. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. That's I can't wait to you start have to booking announce that. the date because people I, take off work. Yeah, exactly. All right. So not only that, but we're going to, I'm going to whip up a, uh, I'm having a guest for every single draft. I think really, I think I'm going to try many, How many dra- total drafts did you do in that 24 hours? Tw- about 24. I think it was 24. I okay. did about one an hour. Um, yeah, that, I, I think I, it would help me get through the, get through the night. The tuna salad alone wasn't enough. I need <laughs> the brain food, the brain food. All right. <laughs> Three people. What's going on here, guys? Yeah, well, come on. We we have still three remaining. Ryan, while we're waiting for the draft to fill out, uh, perfect time to talk about IP Vanish. Oh. Doing some uh, things on the internet again. It's not my business. It's not the ISP's business. It's not hackers' businesses. No, it's you and whatever between you and your router. That's between you and your router. <laughs> so I got to use IP Vanish. We use it here at the office. Make sure IP disappear. And again, encrypting 100% of your data. There's so much crap going on out there. You got those emails all the time about like, oh, your your data has been breached. And these are just the stuff that's reported. You can only imagine what's going out uh, going on there. I was always hesitant to use a VPN because I was worried it would slow down the speed. IP Vanish it does not slow it down. Trust me. Even if you're streaming, we have not noticed. Any performance issues with God's Eye, which is running IP Vanish as we speak, and unlimited devices. Now get the whole get the whole family on it: uh, tablets, computers, phones, Fire Stick, whatever you got. IP Vanish. The best part is seventy percent off their yearly plan. Are you kidding me? And a thirty day money back guarantee. You're essentially getting nine months free. I don't know how they do it. IPVanish.com/sgp. IPVanish.com/sgp. Kramer down to two people left. Who is, if you were, uh, are, are you going to go quarterback first round? I was just thinking about that. I, I, part of me hopes to have a back end of the round pick so we can uh, maybe just go quarterback quarterback. I do like the idea of ending up. I mean, again, I've played enough super flex leagues where when you get thin, when you play thin at quarterback, it, it, I don't, 
I get it. You're trying to win the thing at the end, but I think it was Andrew Robb dropped some uh, data in the Slack channel about uh, distribution of teams that actually made it into the playoffs. And guess what, Sean? Uh, this was not for Superflex, but similar principle because it's about the running backs. The teams with more running backs got into the playoffs more because why? That floor they needed to. You got to score points during the regular season to get there. And mm. so I think this. I think the same principle applies to quarterbacks in. In Superflex, do we have so it's it's twenty picks uh, total that we're making? Do we have an ideal roster construction yet? As far as I, I think we're we're looking for what three quarterbacks? No, I, I'm standing by my thought that I I'm going to say like I want between three and four. I I am fine going to four, uh, depending on the build. I, I'd be okay with three. I I think you're probably still going to. So I mean the the build last year was all about 8 9 or 10 receivers, right? So yeah. you go backwards from there. Let's say you need at least 8 receivers. You want to have uh 2 to 3 tight ends, so that brings you to 11. You want to have 5 running backs, that brings you to 16. So there's your four quarterbacks. Yeah, so and, that uh, one flex spot can be maybe a sixth running back and ninth receiver. Yeah, uh Andrew dropped in an ideal uh Formula here: three quarterbacks, six running backs, eight receivers, three tight ends. Uh, Brandon Nash is saying, "What format is this in?" We are on Underdog, UnderdogFantasy.com. Promo code SGPN. Hop in there, and it's it's the only football one they have is available. It, is it not? I mean, I, I uh, shout out to Brandon Nash. Uh, definitely, a hundred percent a DGen. But is it not clear from the screen? <laughs> uh, you know. Just so walking through. I guess you can't see the underdog. Look. You I can't trim it see out that it's a super flex, Ryan. So right. I, I'm sorry. Unclear if he was talking format. Or we'll do this. Or there, what boom. he was what he was looking for. Now everyone can see what we're doing. <laughs> oh man, so awesome! The win has all these uh, draft props. I I feel like I just checked a little while ago, and they they. I checked ten minutes ago, and they they must be very live. Yes. Um, this is great. What about uh, this? Is an interesting one, and I'm sure. No, only we're only talking about one today, Sean. <laughs> it's hard once you open up one draft prop. You can't. You have to keep going. Uh, NFL draft team to select Kenny Pickett. Well, who would you think is the favorite, Ryan? Carolina. Okay, and what what would you price that at? Oh, I don't know. Plus one fifty. They're at plus two hundred. Steelers mm-hmm. plus three hundred. Saints plus four hundred. Seahawks. Yeah, Carolina's the bet from what I'm, from what I'm hearing. Malik Willis. Who do you think's the favorite? Uh, I th- that I Detroit. Carolina at plus two fifty. Okay, so yeah, they're. I mean, yeah, that's Detroit's the word. plus three hundred. Now is Carolina going to have to yeah. trade up? That's that's, that's, that's interesting. Word. Yeah. Detroit's coming down. They know they need a lot of pieces. Right. What are the New York Giants to take Malik Willis? You know, early on there was buzz that the Giants were into Malik Willis. Yes, but I think that was just the fanboys like watching him throw it really far. I, I don't think Malik Willis is the pick. Ten to one. Yeah, it ends up on the Giants. That would be surprising. Yeah, I, I would be surprised that nothing they've done this off season suggests they're going to draft the quarterback this year. Well, and it is fun, and we'll 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 do, we'll go more hardcore on these uh, as we get closer to the draft. But it's interesting to always kind of find these different one, different type of bets that you can correlate together because they have prices for whether or not you'll be a uh, top ten draft pick. For instance, Malik What's Willis, Drake London, Malik Willis minus five hundred to be a yeah. top ten pick. Drake London minus one thirty. Garrett Wilson also. Minus one thirty. No, I mean again, Drake London's probably the answer, but I'd rather just take him to be first, first wide yeah. receiver. Um, with Malik Willis, I guess the interesting thing there is y- you can get a better price for him to be the top quarterback, can you not, or is it the same? Uh, I last I saw because we got minus two hundred in the futures draft for for first quarterback for Malik Willis, which and now look at this, Ryan. Breaking news. Malik Willis to be the first quarterback selected down to minus 400. So man, I, I think it's immortal. I just don't see the Kenny Pitt, Pickett angle. Um, no. I, I, it's Carolina because if Carolina comes up to two, they could be coming up to get Kenny Pickett. But I, I just don't, I, it doesn't seem like you need to come up to get Kenny Pickett. Yeah. You know what I mean? But no, Carolina is the team that you got to be scared of because from what everything that I've read, 
they've fallen in love with Kenny Pickett. Like they could be really? the one team that breaks everything and takes Kenny Pickett over Malik Willis. I just don't know how Dan Campbell, OG football guy, looks. Kenny Pickett's a football guy. I'm sixth or I'm fifth. We got the draft. Oh, I'm first. Again or no? No, you- I was I was I wasn't first. I was like up there though. God, I hate being first. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna lean into it. Give me Josh Allen. All right, draft is officially starting in 40 seconds. Ryan, you are uh you are fifth, so you could make a case maybe you don't go quarterback there. Yeah. I'm or do good. I just say screw it and take Jonathan Taylor first? You gotta take Josh Allen, right? <laughs> yeah. How do you not? I feel like I'm gonna end up with Josh Allen and Jalen Hurts once again. To no surprise. To no one's surprise. Oh, shit. Andrew Robb sitting in the screen. 10th spot. All right, ready to kick off the draft. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm on the clock. All right, you got to go, Josh Allen. Right, Ryan? I, I'm not mad if you go, Josh Allen. Thank you. Okay, Josh Allen first off the board. Then you got Justin Herbert. Wow, taking a quarterback with no rushing upside, number two. Then you got Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Kramer's on the clock. What are you doing, Kramer? You got you got your buddy Kyler Murray, Joe Burrow. Where do you go running back, Jonathan Taylor? Sorry, I was fixing the. Uh... Yeah, see, this is where I'll I'll try it out now because I don't really want to end up with Kyler. Jonathan Taylor goes to uh, Kramer there. I'll try it out. Little Miss Brady. Possibly a female listener. No. It's probably or just a, knock, a Jets fan. It's a knock on the size of Brady's <laughs> dick. I was looking at our futures draft, Sean. I really like here's the NFL draft portfolio. Malik Willis, minus two hundred, first QB, max bet. Drake London, plus one seventy five, first wide receiver, max bet. Uh, which is you know, almost it's seventeen and a half percent of your bankroll. First running back Isaiah Spiller plus six fifty five hundred dollars to win thirty seven fifty. First round over five and a half wide receivers max bet seventeen fifty. First pick Thibodeau plus twenty five hundred two fifty to win sixty five hundred. And second pick to be Malik Willis at four to one one thousand uh, will get net us five thousand dollars. So I feel pretty good about that portfolio of futures picks. Yeah, I feel like we kind of uh, kind of nailed it. I'm on board. Russell Wilson, Joe Burrow, Dak Prescott, Kyler Murray, all off the board. Look at all you squares taking quarterbacks. Yeah, right. Ryan, Ryan's living uh, next level. There. I'm give. I'm why not give it a shot? Uh, Kyler would have been the guy I would have had to take, and I just I'm not. I mean, don't you agree? Like, I'm surprised that Russell Wilson, Joe Burrow, and Dak Prescott all went before Kyler. Yeah. Again, I'm not a massive Kyler. Well, here's the thing: Is Kyler gonna rush? I could see, I could see him not being that into running anymore, and and really tanking his fantasy value. Uh, second running back, Christian McCaffrey is gone. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, Brady. Wow. First pick in the second round. Tom he went third, Brady. third or fourth round when we did the last one, didn't he? Yeah. Cooper Cup goes. Sean, what's the dream scenario here? Uh, you know. You don't want to talk about it. I mean, I I'm, I'm not opposed to. I guess if Jalen Hurts is there, I'm gonna consider him. I may go. Uh, I may go running back here. Although I don't know, like Derrick Henry in the second round is not like a PPR guy. Jalen Hurts goes second, uh, so I don't have to even deal with that decision. <laughs> Justin must, Jefferson's gone. The burden. Is there a quarterback like who? So who am I hoping for? Is this the Trey Lance pick? <laughs> is Trey Lance going to start? How is he above Deshaun Watson, and both above uh, Justin Fields? Trey Lance is gone. Wow, uh, Justin Jefferson also taken. I I could not. I mean, I can't imagine a world where I'm drafting Trey Lance, right? I, I yeah, I don't understand. I don't understand at all. Like why Dak and Trey Lance, are you excited about that team? 
See, I've left my now. I definitely don't take a quarterback, right? Or do I roll the dice with Deshaun Watson? Mm. Is this the the Deshaun Watson? Hour? I mean, uh, I I how can he be your first quarterback? He's going to be out probably six games. You're a maniac. Derek Henry, Jamar Chase off the board. Kramer's on the clock. All right, you're gonna talk me out of it. Devontae no, Adams, no, Las my, Vegas Raider. Take the next best. Adams. I'll take. The, so now I have a top running back, arguably a top receiver. Derek Carr goes. Could have had a Derek Carr run. Well, I was Are hoping going to go zero QB. I was hoping he was going to get back to me, and I was going to get a cheap stack there. Okay. Hmm. What do I do here? I'm on the clock. Ah, oh, God damn it. Austin Eckler just mm, went. I knew you were, you were eyeing that one up. I mean, Dalvin cook would be the running back. If you're looking at one, I think over, I would go Najee because of the Dalvin cook injury stuff. Right. Or am I crazy? I mean, Dalvin cook's going to be in a good situation with a coach who wants to run like a zone read. I mean, yeah, I don't know. They're, they're it's, it's preference, I guess. Yeah. Najee is younger. I mean, we're talking running backs. I'll go Najee Harris and then give me a stack. Give me Stefan Diggs, right? Uh, the fact that you're getting them here is pretty nice. That's a nice stack. You, yeah. did, you did good. Thank you. You did good. Now I, I got to guess start sweating out some second quarterbacks, but Ryan, you still have not drafted a quarterback. We, st- we talked about that. We I got before Josh the show. Allen, Najee Harris, Stefan Diggs. Your team's looking pretty, pretty fly. Deshaun Watson is available. Javante Williams gone. If you're here, Lamar Jackson, do you stack him with Mark Andrews? Uh not opposed to it. And tight ends are kind of weird in super flex. See, this is a point where I, I, I fall into a trap where do I reach? Do I take a quarterback? This, this is why it's tough to do this, Sean. Because do do I take a quarterback that's not attractive? Or do I do I take? Yeah, I gotta take Dalvin Cook. He's still there. Now there's some buzz about AJ Brown potentially being traded. Ryan, have you heard? What are your sources saying about a potential AJ, AJ Brown? Brown trade? Yeah, where is he getting traded? Possibly to the Eagles. There's been some cryptic tweets. He is a Why, uh, connection what, with. What's he upset about? Why is he leaving? Unclear, Ryan. I'm just I'm just reporting. Hearing news about a uh, possible possible trade, AJ Brown could be interesting. Oh wow, Ryan! I didn't realize you passed on Justin Fields in round three. I'm not taking Justin Fields. That is, uh, you're gonna live to regret. You told me Deshaun Watson isn't gonna play every game this year. Neither is Justin Fields. Oh wow! What breaking news sounded? I have Jonathan Taylor, Dalvin Cook, and Devontae Adams. Like that's that's not horrible. No. Uh, Devo goes CD lamb. CD is going to be interesting again with no Amari. Uh, you as much as I'm a Cowboys hater, Ryan, you feel like his upside is pretty massive there. Yeah. A lot of targets. Although, you know, maybe it's Gallup. You got to don't sleep on Gallup coming back. Let's take a look at the best quarterbacks available right now. It's a uh, Oh, I, I got, I got already. a guy. I got a guy. Trevor Lawrence, Tua, Ryan Tannehill, Matt Ryan, hmm. Zach Wilson, Mac Jones, Daniel Jones. Hmm. As far as guys who aren't going to play the entire year, <laughs> Carson Wentz, Jameis Winston. I I'm looking at a, a quarterback, a, a tons of quarterback options right now. But you need three. Yeah, I see a lot. Marcus Mariota. I also see some absolute studs at the top of my team. <laughs> I might not go quarterback again. Really? Fuck you. Wow. I play by my own rules. So wait, you have zero quarterbacks. Zero quarterbacks. Zero QB theory. I, like uh, I see some guys I like. Tyree Kill goes. Can obviously drop off going to Miami. Uh, Joe Mixon, AJ Brown, Kamara, Chubb. What are you looking to get here in the fourth round, Ryan? Yeah, Sean, I'm a best player available kind of guy. BPA, BPA. De- DeAndre Hopkins uh fallen this year. What do you think about that? I'm a little surprised, right? No, no. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess they're a little worried about injury stuff and just. What are you hoping for here? Are you looking for a quarterback? Are you gonna fall for the trap and reach? Um, I might. I mean, because I have that interesting back to back, so. 
I wouldn't mind taking another quarterback and then because it's gonna be a long time before I have a quarterback. Another quarterback and, and Carson a Wentz is there. Yeah. Again, I'm looking for a quarterback. Saquon Barkley's still available, Ryan. Yeah. Is he gonna play on the Giants this year? I don't think he's gonna get cut. I, I will say I do think that he there's still a chance he gets dealt. It sounds like uh, there's some teams that have a little bit of interest. Mark Andrews goes. Two is oh, gone. Tannehill. Did I miss Mark? An- I was totally going to take Aaron Mark Jones. D Hop all off the board. Right. What do I do? Four nets. Oh. Now you're on the clock, and you're telling me I can just swoop in and grab a unicorn. Give me Kyle Pitts. Oh wow, interesting. I mean, who's getting the targets in, in Atlanta? Yeah, I mean, again, that's why I I think they're an interesting destination for Drake London, but yeah, yeah. okay, so two receivers. I mean, at this Trevor point, Trevor Lawrence goes. He was the only quarterback I was really considering. Is that, am I going to waste a pick on Matt Ryan? Zach, I, I feel like after that mark, it's all kind of a crapshoot. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to go. Uh, Probably just best receiver here. Ah, oh, fucking T. Higgins got drafted right before you. You don't like Barkley, huh? Darren Waller. No. DK Metcalf and Jalen Waddle. Crazy. I mean, in that uh, low A dot <laughs> uh, system with Tua, he's just gonna get a ton of PPR points. Uh, and really, it's no. just it's set up for Teddy Bridgewater to come in there. Uh, you love to. Uh, no, right, what, what I, I mean, I, as far as PPR points, Jalen Waddles. It. What do I do up. now? So Keenan Allen, Mike Evans off the board. Kramer's coming up. Waller just went. What do I do? Do you have any thoughts of what I should do? I mean, I it's an interesting strategy not to have a quarterback. I'm just gonna say that. Contract year, baby. Let's fucking go. Oh my God. Saquon Barkley off the board. <laughs> wow. Dalvin hey. Cook, Saquon Barkley, Jonathan Taylor, all on the same team? Are you serious? A shout out to Terrell Furman in the chat pointing out the Hertz and AJ Brown are uh, BFFs. Uh, someone, uh, someone, help me roster bait here. Tell me how awesome my roster is, Andrew. Uh, we're gonna allow uh, Andrew Rob seems to be like the most He's independent the, as a uh, Commanders fan. Come in and the come, arbiter of uh, fantasy lineup judgment. Yes, is Ryan crazy for taking Saquon Barkley? Not necessarily crazy for taking Saquon Barkley, but for not having a quarterback <laughs> going into round six. Who needs a fucking quarterback? Running the triple option like Colby always dreamed about. <laughs> Ooh, Gibson. You know, he's interesting with Carson Wentz. Yeah. Matt Ryan, Zeke, Bryce Hall, uh, George Kittle. Although, Antonio. G- uh, real quick, Brees Hall, again, he's going. People assume he's going to be the best fantasy producer because he might be the first one drafted. It's crazy to me how much earlier he's going than guys you know are going to perform. Like, did we watch Jay? Like, we watched some of these guys. Cam Akers is like still on the board, and you're picking. A, I don't know. I don't know what I'm missing. Carson Wentz gone. Shit, Sean. Now my now I'm <laughs> fucked. Now you're getting pretty thin. Now I'm fucked. I I spoke Cam Akers into existence. All right. So how many teams don't have two quarterbacks? You don't have two. Nope. It looks like uh can't read that name, but it looks like there's two teams that only have one. I have zero and the rest <laughs> have at least two. Wow, Andrew Robb, not crazy, but he is definitely taking a road less traveled by not having a quarterback by now. Aww. With that said, he has options to stack later on with who is currently on his team. So there, oh. there is always that where if you just completely wait it out with quarterback, you kind of have the pick of the litter. Mac Jones pick is of gone. what litter? Like the the, the, shit. Li- the litter that no one wants. You're, you can pick your favorite runt and uh, stack them. Terry McLaurin, Jerry Judy, J.K. Dobbins goes. 
What team do you like the most so far? I like, I mean, Terry McClure and Jerry Judy, both in this round feels like nice, nice picks. Yeah, I don't mind that looking at him. I was thinking about taking a receiver. DJ here. Moore goes, which I like his upside. If they can figure out <sighs> something at quarterback, he's been pretty quarterback. He's kind of had a he really, yeah, uh, he's, he's almost ex, uh, succeeded in spite of the quarterbacks. Per, I mean, considering what he's had to work with. All right. So pick before me has three quarterbacks, one receiver. Oh, Travis Etienne goes. He'll be interesting to see what uh, Doug P does with uh, Travis Etienne. Oh my God! Stack alert. <laughs> now you're gonna need a quarterback that you could pencil in for starting multiple games, right? What do you mean, Daniel Jones? I I'd be very surprised if he starts the entire season. Why are you saying that? Are you just trying to be mean again? No, I I don't between his I mean again, I don't know. I I haven't seen video of him walking yet. Sean, you're up. Oh, the the long th- I I saw a picture of his neck. It looks healthy. <laughs> All right. You know what I'm going to do? I I really was looking at Zach Wilson too. I don't mind the upside of Zach Wilson year 2. I He's watched gone. Yeah, he just went. All right. I'm going to just close out the quarterback position. Give me Jameis Winston and then Malik Willis. Massive, massive upside picks there. Really? Okay. I was gonna take Jameis if he made it back to me. I do hate where I'm at though. The the one pick and then because you got you end up over drafting because you're not gonna be having a pick for so long. Is Tom Brady gonna play on the Bucks this year? The it seems like it's trending that way. That was part of the agreement with um I love how people are trying to say. Bruce Arians retiring randomly is not related to Tom Brady coming back. Come on. You don't think there was a conversation about, Hey, if I come back, here's what's got to happen. I think there was probably a conversation. Miles Sanders is comically far down the the rank. Oh, am I up right now? Yep. You're on the clock. 13 seconds. Is Tom Brady coming back? What do you mean? He's already back. All right. Let's let's go upside. Little Aaron Rodgers receiver. Cortland Sutton, Sean. We like him. The analytics like him. One year removed from that injury. Aaron Rodgers as his quarterback in the seventh round. Yes, please. Need some receivers now. Picked him over Chris Godwin. Would you take Cortland Sutton or Chris Godwin? I think you gotta go Chris Godwin. Mm. Okay. I mean, I like Sutton, but you know, they have Javante Williams. I I think you know, Russ is fun, but how, how often have we seen him succeed at like, as, as being a, no, stud I'm passer? sorry. I said, Aaron Rodgers. Russ. No, I mean, I, I, I think he could be the Russ deep guy and he's a big bodied guy. I think Russ likes to throw a deep body, or deep body, big body guys. I mean, I certainly, I mean, think about it. We're typically drafting Russ's receivers in the first couple of rounds. Or in the first four rounds, at least, and that's with Pete Carroll, a guy who likes to run the ball. Yeah, uh, updating some picks here: Deontay Johnson, Mike Williams, Mari Cooper. Like you said, Sutton, uh, Pittman, Godwin, all off. Josh Jacobs, Elijah Moore, Devonta Smith. Damn it, Elijah Mitchell, Michael Thomas. Inter- uh, very interesting. I definitely would have taken him as a nice little backup stack there. Who do you think the other guys in New Orleans? After Michael Thomas, or oh, and we're assuming Michael Thomas plays for them. I wouldn't be shocked. He's trading. How does he play for the Saints? Isn't the bridge burned? <laughs> yes, I think it, so. It doesn't seem like things ended well. Uh, St. Brown goes Juju and Dallas Goddard. I don't know what to think about Juju on Kansas City. He he could be interesting. I mean th- that Kansas City, there's a shit ton of targets and touchdowns available, and especially if you factor in Kelsey kind of getting a year older. We've seen some deterioration in production out of yeah. Kelsey. There, there could be massive target opportunity. I mean, Nicole Hardman seems like he is who he is. Uh, I mean, do you expect him to massively jump up? No, I mean he's being left off the social graphics. It's not a good look. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I just don't know what the. I mean, the for Juju to be good, I feel like the offense has to change a little bit, and so I'm sure if they brought him in, that's the plan. All right, let me. Uh, I'm gonna slight reach here. Second quarterback. 
stacking with Kyle Pitts. Wow, Marcus Mariota. Combined number of starts between your two quarterbacks over under sixteen. Games. Over. <laughs> I mean, massive upside opportunity. Uh, Robinson, Darnell Mooney. I feel like I gotta stack some running backs here. I only have one running back right now. I don't know what that feels like. I have three studs. Running back room. I mean, Singletary. Uh, let's see who would be on top of my board. Uh, you're a big. Uh, I mean, Rashad Penny is certainly interesting. Tony Pollard is the ultimate uh, hate on Zeke. Uh, you know, Devin Singletary is nice because then I'm just owning a shit ton of the Bills offense. Let's take the Bills offense. And then uh, again, I I think Miles Sanders is kind of getting overlooked here. They seem committed to the run game. I'm ha- Miles why Sanders why like why is he dropping? Do you think? I I think. I think he got hyped up the past couple of years and both years kind of disappointed, especially from a fantasy point of view. Uh, you know, two years ago, he was like a first round pick underperformed last year, fourth or fifth round pick still underperformed because of the injuries. And you want to talk about touchdown regression. Guess how many touchdowns he had last year, Ryan? How many? Zero. Mm, okay. I mean, the guy is very athletic. Uh, pretty surprised. Is there data to suggest he should regress? Positively, or did he just not have a lot of opportunity? Uh, I'll have to do a deep dive. Gabe <laughs> Davis. Uh, maybe I should have reached for Gabe, but I don't know. I gotta kind of stick to my plan here. So I got three quarterbacks, three running backs, three receivers, no tight ends. But again, it it's liberating. I can just uncheck the QB box. Don't need to care about it. Stack. This this giant stack I have is really gonna pay off. <laughs> Kadarius Tony, Brandon Cooks, Goff, Davis Mills. Goff it's is what, gone. Oh my goodness. It's funny that I'm seen as the Homer. Ryan's putting together a Kadarius Tony Giants crazy stack. Does Seattle draft a quarterback this year? That's a good question. Yeah, I I, I would think they have to, right? Does Kenny Pickett start day one for Seattle? For what any team? I think so. Yeah, I think him and Malik Willis. Right, we just talked about him on the props. Uh, Drake London, he's gone. It's about the right time. Tony Pollard goes. You'll notice he went first uh, out of the rookie wide receivers. I did notice that. Yeah. What do I do next? Tyler Lockett. Where do uh, I go? How many quarterbacks do you have? Daniel Jones and who else? I have two. Marcus Mariota, <laughs> Daniel Jones. Oh, this is a great draft. Oh shit, Dawson Knox went. And uh, and my boy Hawk. Baker, gone. Oh man. Who's next? Where do I go from here? It's all backups. Jordan Love. <laughs> oh man, that's a great pick. <laughs> Round out your that's a it's a hell of a QB room right there. Uh, I'm gonna also uncheck the quarterback box. Who do you guys believe will have a better year since being traded to a team with a much better quarterback? Allen Robinson or Juju Smith Schuster? Allen Robinson. I'm gonna go Juju just because I think I think Allen Robinson. There's a lot of red flags as far as his health. Oh, okay. This draft. I moving. mean, if if Allen Robinson's completely healthy, I I would go him, but I I just I don't see it. Gronk goes, which is kind of surprising. I mean, I love Gronk just as much as the next guy, but what do you think about Zach Ertz? Is there anything left for Zach Ertz? Oh, he was seemed to have a connection. It's true. And yeah, why? Well, I, I don't know. He's not going anywhere. He, he seems to rack up targets and catches in that Arizona offense. Cream Hunt still available. I'm surprised. That guy is a. He's just a fantasy stalwart. Yeah. And it does. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets traded too. Cordell or Patterson goes. Would you take Patterson? Oh, you did. You took Patterson over Kareem Hunt, right? 
Even uh, though he really I'm, fell. I'm investing in the Atlanta production wise. the Atlanta Falcons offense. Okay. Thank you for asking. It's an interesting strategy. Ah, a lot of a lot of negative Nancy shit over here from you. No, I and Kareem Hunt goes. So now I'm just gonna check off another position box essentially. Give me a uh, Pat Fryermuth paired up with Zach Ertz. <laughs> Why Fryermuth? Why not? Oh, uh, just for the guys who are there. So you would like Albert O better, Gasicki? I, I don't know. I'm well, just Fryermuth just got a ton of red zone looks from a different quarterback. Yeah, but I think that's more. You think it's system based? I think. <laughs> I mean, is Mitch Trubisky an upgrade from Ben Roethlisberger at throwing the football? Uh, and you seem to have started something here, Sean. A little tight end run. Uh, love the Christian Kirk pick. Uh, he just came off. Uh, they paid him a lot of money. They're definitely yeah. going to use him, Bateman. And yeah, I think I think I will uh, go ahead and and snag. Let's do it, Albert O. Whoa, we have breaking news. Philadelphia Eagles have traded up two spots in the NFL draft really? with the Saints. What? It's according to Adam Schefter. Let me. This is according to Jake Paquin, according to Adam Schefter, which I don't think Jake. Why? Would, what are they trading up two spots for today? Or uh, or maybe the Saints traded up. Sorry. Oh yeah. Okay. So, wow. Saints get the 16th pick and the 19th pick. So, and the 194th pick in the sixth round. Eagles get an 18th pick. Uh, they get the Saints third rounder, seventh rounder, a first rounder next year, a first rounder next year, and a second rounder in 2024. So they're selling their draft picks this year. Huh? This is a move to kick the can down the line, a la what we had talked about in the Die Hard Eagles podcast that it was highly unlikely that. Um, you know, he was going to take all three first rounders. And now, it, again, gives you another year to evaluate Jalen Hurts, see what's out there. Yeah, I don't mind this at all. What's next? What do you mean? What's they, next? Is there another move coming for the Eagles? Yeah. I don't think so. I think they'll just use those two first rounders. Um, that third first rounder was maybe to move up for a quarterback this year. They don't see anything they like. Why not have two first rounders next year? Ryan took uh, took Albert O. Rashad Bateman goes. Man, he is. The more I think about, it, the more I really like Rashad He's Bateman. Uh, Rondell Moore, Chris Olave off the board. Rondell Moore is interesting too. His his average depth of target was like historically bad, but I mean. His ability to catch is it, it just feels like he's got a pretty decent upside. I think it, he had that huge game too, so maybe, but I, I don't think he's quite the prospect. Ryan, you know who has a massive upside? StableDuel.com. Nice. Man, Saturday was so fun. Sweating out my stable duel lineup. Also got down on uh also bet some actual horses nice. as well. You can win as much as forty thousand dollars with one entry over at StableDuel.com. Florida Derby was so much fun. Uh so much so many big events coming up in horse racing. Hopefully you guys got in the SGPN free roll. That was uh that was great. To see those guys uh, sweating it out. All you got to do is head over to stable tool.com. See how many winners you can pick in your stable. I'll see you in the winner's circle play race win stable duel.com. Nice work. Thank you, Ryan. Ray Mostert, Alan Lazard. Ramon J. Stevenson, MVS, all off the board. Jimmy G finally goes. Uh oh, I was I was considering it. <laughs> Kramer, you are almost on the clock. What are you hoping for here? You know, I was looking around. I kind of want to. I you know, I need I need a pass catcher. Uh, which which one do you like on the board? Let's just say I was asking you, expert. I like Tyler Boyd. Mm. Will Fuller. Could really be interesting. I mean, in a best ball scenario, you could definitely talk me into Will Fuller just because what if he ends up on the Packers? All right. When in doubt, keep stacking. <laughs> oh my God. I got two Denver Bronco receivers, two giant receivers, and a running back, <laughs> and two Falcons. Now, who's a good uh who's a good Saints receiver? I mean, honestly, like the Saints are a team where let's see.
Uh, is it just Callaway? Callaway. I don't even know who would be after that. Probably don't need to draft him yet. The tight end, maybe. I mean, have you picked a tight end? Yeah, I'm gonna go Tyler Boyd. I lo- I like him in Swear that. Where he he kind of got phased out a little bit. Yeah, in that offense. Well, we are in the we're in the twelfth round here, Ron. Uh, but you know what I'm noticing is that there definitely are some pass catchers uh, I still like down here. Uh, he's out until training camp, but I'm gonna give a shot on uh, James Robinson. New uh, new guy Doug P coming in. Players guy. Well, and oh, there were reports that uh, Trevor Lawrence went to the coach and was like, "We need to play James Robinson. What are you doing?" And they seem to have made a ton of moves at receivers, but. I haven't heard much on the uh, running back front. Uh, James Robinson dust him off. Well, they do have uh, ETN coming back as well. So, so uh, what's the deal with? Um, let's see. Do we like Russell Gage in Tampa? Kind of a s- similar location in the rankings. Oh, I'm back on the clock. Hmm. Kind of seems like I need to take another. You know what? I'll take a stab at Russell Gage. Tampa, I mean, we know the story about the uh the funnel that they are and all the passing yards and they just pass pass pass. I just why why do you think they signed Russell Gage? Is he filling the Antonio Brown role? Yeah. That that's what I would think, right? Well, that's a good role. It's, it's to be not in. good for Scotty Miller. Nah, poor Scotty. All right. I don't think I do I need a third tight end? I don't need a third tight end. Oh, you definitely need a third tight end. Do you? Yeah. Why? Andrew Robb crunch the numbers. You need a third tight end. Cole Komet goes. Hunter Henry goes. Drew Locke goes. Could have been your uh, quarterback, Ryan. I'm not reaching for Drew Locke. <laughs> not at this point in the draft. Yeah, hey. you, you said goodbye to <laughs> to winning this draft in any form. What do you mean? Hyper fragile. Let's go. Hyper fragile. What do we think about Khalil Herbert? Bears guy, Montgomery getting up there. I don't hate it. He's a hokey. Oh, DJ Chark. I was looking at him before. I, it doesn't it feel like he could randomly pop up again? Detroit maybe passing the ball a bit. Yeah. Saw him with uh, taking a picture with Jared Goff off season workout. Gainwell still there, Sean. Your guy. So we think Julio Jones. Wow, it's crazy how far. It, uh, Robbie Anderson's dropped. If I were you, I would look uh, at the latest Buffalo wide receiver that's signed and just load up. That's a good idea. <laughs> he went to Duke. Wait, what's his name? Jamison Crowder. Oh yeah, actually, that's not a bad play because he is just a he's a PPR machine. Bobby Tunyon goes. I think Tunyon. Again, we'll see what happens with the no Devante Adams, but they're thin right now, pass catchers, and you know he has chemistry with uh, Tunyon. Kramer, one more pick, and then you. You know uh, there are some nice running back options. I don't know if that's where I should be uh, investing the dollars right now. Ah, uh, feels like when in doubt, you just keep racking up pass catchers. And I think they went out and got this guy because they understand how he's going to work with Mac Jones, and we love him, Devontae Parker, now a yeah. Patriot. Uh, they went and got him for a reason. He's a big body receiver. Uh, again, probably good for what Mac Jones does well. Uh, he's kind of like a much bigger version of Jacoby Myers, so I like it. Fifteen again. These some of these receivers that go this late. Nicole Hardman, Khalil Herbert does go. So he was a guy I was considering. Don't have to have that decision. Uh, Jamison Crowder, yeah, ton of catches. Uh, Kenny Gainwell as well. Guy coming off oh, five touchdowns. Stack in a running back room. You're making fun of me over here. Well, I mean, the Eagles were one of the top NFL yeah. rushing teams. So okay. I mean. What did what categories did the Giants lead in offense? Well, that's a different coach, Sean. I <laughs> I know you follow the NFL and all, but Gable for Dable, Gus Edwards, KJ Osborne, Kramer's on the clock. What are you doing here, Kramer? Oh, I'm I'm on the clock. 
trying to, I was trying to read some shit. Uh, I, th- I, I mean, my instincts say just continue to, to grab, grab wide receivers. I just, some of these guys, it's, it's tricky. I, I don't, I don't know. Like someone's got to do something. I, I kind of think, I, I, I know people think Chenault is going to be like put out to pasture, but doesn't Doug Peterson figure out how to get, get a guy like that involved in the offense? I, I just think in Jacksonville, it's a crap shoot. And I like, I've seen, I like what I've seen from Chanel. I'm playing it. I just refuse to believe the people that think he's going to be non-existent in that offense. Yeah, no. And I, I wouldn't mind Doug I'm, Peterson. If nothing else is willing to be creative, you know? Yeah. I'm willing to re-examine re-examine what uh, and Andrew Robs, I'm willing to re-examine my takes on the Jags offense. Kramer, can you pull the draft board up a little bit? Thank you, according to Andrew Rob. What do you mean? I don't know. He's he's asking. Oh, that was earlier. I fixed okay. it already. Oh, da, da. JD McKissick, Matt Corral goes. That's kind of interesting. What do you mean it's interesting? Well, interesting where he ends up. God damn. All right. So I, it, it does seem like I should take another quarterback. James Washington goes Ryan as the unbiased uh, fantasy analyst. What do you think about his fit in Dallas? He's going home. I don't know if I like that. Chris Carson goes. Man, I'm really liking my team. Don't you always? Yeah. So I got uh, four more picks left. Yeah. Sam Darnold finally off the board. Really? <laughs> Was he in your queue, right? No, absolutely not. Who do you have in your quarterback queue? You can no probably one. tell us. No, no one's, one. No one else is going to be drafting a quarterback. I have no one in my queue. Do we, do we kick the tires on one more Robbie Anderson year? He's so cheap. I have some guys I'm willing to take at this point. KJ Hamler loading. Some fun names kicking around. Dearness Johnson, kind of interesting. They paid him, not a ton. Uh, Van Jefferson goes. I still like him. Oh, Gerald Everett, who I kind of was uh, keeping an eye on. All right. I think it's time. It's time. I think it's time for me to take a quarterback. Yeah. Julio Jones goes. It is Julio. Do we just pencil Julio in? <sighs> where where though? I mean, is it possible he's washed up? All right. Now, I'm going to have a quarterback that's probably going to be catching passes here. Let's fucking go. Taysom Hill. He's working on changing to be one of those pass catchers for Jameis Winston, but it also sounds like he might still play some quarterback. How how do you like how do you like my team now? Daniel Jones, Marcus Mariota, Taysom Hill, Andrew mm-hmm. Robb. Give me give me uh give me some fucking feedback, bro. You probably haven't seen a team constructed this well. Who's next? You're you're up, Sean. I'm on the clock. You're on the clock. No one told me. I just told you. All right. Uh, Marquez Callaway mm. and. No, you didn't get Taysom Hill. Number two target for Jameis. That is. Oh, my God. <laughs> you realize he's not playing quarterback anymore, Ryan. Yeah. Do you still. He's going to play some quarterback. I'm going to Marquez Callaway and Troutman. So mm. I seal up my third tight end option and I get a Jameis double stack. It's a, or a Taysom stack. Sure. Could also be that. So now, now it's just uh best running back receivers available. Uzuma, Hayden Hurst off the board. Why don't you do a quick uh, team recap, Ryan? I'm on the clock. Hold on. Okay. You're on the clock. I'll read off my team real quick. Uh Josh Allen, 
Jameis Winston, Malik Willis, running backs, Najee Harris, Devin Singletary, Miles Sanders, James Robinson, Kenny Gainwell, receivers, Stefan Diggs, DK Metcalf, Jalen Waddle, Tyler Boyd, Jamison Crowder, Marquez Callaway, tight ends, Pat Fryermuth, Zach Ertz, and Adam Troutman. All right, took my fourth quarterback, Teddy Bridgewater. Let's go, baby. All those receivers out down there in Miami and only Tua in his way for a starting job, Sean. I now have four quarterbacks. Suck it. Suck it indeed. No, you're not even impressed. Andrew Rob, you can update your feedback on my team now. All right, what's next? How many running uh, do all right, so I have Daniel Jones, Marcus Mariota, Taysom Hill, Teddy Bridgewater, Jonathan Taylor, <laughs> Dalvin Cook, Saquon Barkley, Cordell Patterson, you, uh, you, Devontae Adams, Cortland Sutton, Kadarius Tony, Kenny Galladay, Russell Gage, Devontae Parker, double Devontae, Laviska Chenault, Kyle Pitts, and Albert O. I don't see too many weaknesses on the roster. No. Um, oh, I got a seven point six nine out of ten. That's probably higher than you're getting on his grading scale. I mean, what? Say it. No, you're the the. Uh, you have trailblaze for sure, Kramer. I love the Mariota pick. I predict that he leads your quarterback in points. He's a wild card that could pay off big. No, I I actually honestly of those Mariota is kind of the most interesting because. I could see an offense where they're designing a shit ton of runs. It's hyper fragile as the kids say, mm. but I, I don't mind taking Mariota in best ball. All your other quarterbacks are horrific, horrific <laughs> choices. <laughs> ah, Trey Sermon gone. I was just about to take him. That was going to be the next pick for me. Dude, oh, I, I'm gutted I, right now. I have so many stack opportunities. It's fucking bonkers. Who's the best uh, best lines receiver available? Who <sighs> is uh, who's is Reynolds out there? Yeah, it's probably him. It's kind of fun. All right, Trey Sermon, B- Braxton Berrios. Why is he so late? I mean, again, he sucks. Yeah, but didn't he? He was a product just like of, a PPR machine. He was a uh, Jamison crap. I mean, no, sorry, Jamison Crowder's gone. Yeah, I think he's just product of a bad team. That would be my guess. Any of these running backs uh, interest you? Uh, Dearness Johnson, who just went. I was uh, Sony Sony Michelle. I mean, again, I'm not high on him, but this late in the in the draft. Yeah, n- none none of these running backs are are fun. I'm gonna steal your guy because I, I mean, what what's your take on uh, Isaiah McKenzie? Are you gonna take him if I? Uh, I might. Yeah, he's in my queue, but I think he's more interesting as a stack. If you're solo as Isaiah McKenzie, it's good call. Sterling Shepard, let's go. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. It's all about the stack. Stack, stack, stack. Is it? Uh, where will Antonio Brown be? Um, maybe the USFL. Okay, eighteen and nineteen. Give me Isaiah McKenzie and and Josh Reynolds, oh aka who uh, Malik Willis is going to be thrown to. I thought you were taking. I thought you were going to take. Uh, I don't want to say it. You Why? might. You can still take him. Well, who is it? It's a tight end. That would be a stack for you. Oh, I already have a uh, already have a stack tight end. I've Adam Troutman. Did you miss that? No. How many tight ends do you have? Three. Oh, okay. All right. Let's continue to grab stacks. <laughs> I mean, but uh, you know, Zacchaeus. Just gonna. I'm gonna load up on the Mariota Zacchaeus <laughs> stack. That combo. Stack it up. All right. I have four quarterbacks, four running backs, nine wide receivers, and two tight ends. Do I need an additional tight end? You need or, three tight ends. Why do I need three tight ends? Do I take a fifth running back or a third tight end? <laughs> See, Andrew's really liking my team now, and I feel like all your negative comments throughout the show are going to skew people's opinion of what I've just done, but I may have crafted a winning lineup. I'm going to, if the giant, I mean, when the giants have a good season, it's going to be uh, like, just play the cast register. Cause that's going to be what we're hearing 
Ooh, I like the Rodgers pick uh, in Green Bay. He's certainly a wild card with all the receivers that have left there. What's going on over there, Sean? You playing some hands, blackjack? No, I'm uh, firing up the bat signal for a, a diehard Eagles emergency oh. podcast breaking down this awesome oh, okay. trade. Amari Rodgers, a late round. Ra- yep. I love that. Just, yeah, just and I'm just again. This is why these are fun to do because kind of guys that like aren't on my radar, but should be Amari Rogers. I mean, again, massive upside and so many more targets available at Green yeah. Bay. We'll see closing things out here in the 20th round. As we do that, Quez, make, Quez Watkins. Yeah. Kind of fun. Uh, make sure you check out props buy and sell real sports bets. Perfect for playing that futures market. And again, you probably could have made a, a nice uh, boatload of cash just on the Drake London movement. If you got it at like plus 170 when Kramer was throwing it out. And now, you know, when when has him at minus 110, uh, you could have had a nice guaranteed profit there. And again, or if you're buying uh, <laughs> tickets from other betters, you just go to propswap.com, use a promo code SGP, instant deposit match dollar for dollar up to $500, propswap.com. Promo code SGP. Tyler Huntley, I guess if you're doing backup quarterbacks, you could do worse than that. Or maybe you completely luck out and there's some contract issues with Lamar. He's not signed. He well, also his mom's negotiating. He so. also figures out how to get every possible strain of COVID. There's a number <laughs> of reasons Lamar Jackson could be out. Cam Newton's still available too. Yeah. Colin Kaepernick, Ryan, I know you've been excited seeing him throw the football. We I mean, we gotta <laughs> stop. We got us. All right. OJ Howard was the guy I was talking about for you. Uh, oh yeah. So Andrew Rob Wait, OJ Howard. Isn't he still on uh, Buffalo? Oh, you're right. Uh, but Andrew, Dawson Knox seems like Andrew Rob tells me I should take a fifth, uh, a fifth running back. I'm going to disobey and just going to keep piling up. Cause there's a chance Ricky seals. Jones is catching passes from Daniel Jones this year. Let's go. Why is he gonna play defense for Washington? No, oh, stop. He's on the Giants. The the underdog's not updated. Obviously, you're not following the NFL this offseason, Sean. I'm follow- I, I've I'm, been following the NFL. I'm following Don't worry, guys. Notable transactions. Don't worry, guys. I got this. Oh shit! Justin Jackson goes. All right, Ryan. I'm gonna need help here. Who should I take for my last running back here? Miles Gaskin. You don't need to take a running back. Yeah, I feel good at receiver though. There's no Don't be bully. I mean, I guess if you don't have a running back room that looks sounds like Jonathan Taylor, Dalvin Cook, Saquon Barkley, and Cordell Patterson, you might want to take another one. Jarrett Patterson's fun one in Washington. I'm actually gonna go uh Deontay Harris. That's my uh my stack is crazy uh for I need someone to send over the grades for this one immediately uh, in Slack. See how well I did. Thank so you. So final team. For me, Josh Allen, Jameis Winston, Malik Willis, Najee Harris, Devin Singletary, Miles Sanders, James Robinson, Kenny Gainwell, receivers: Steph Diggs, DK Metcalf, Jalen Waddle, Tyler Boyd, Jameson Crowder, Marquez Callaway, Isaiah McKenzie, Josh Reynolds, Deontay Harris, and then tight ends: Friar Moe, Zach Ertz, Troutman. So I have two really nice stacks with Josh Allen, Devin Singletary, and Stephon Diggs, and Isaiah McKenzie. And then in New Orleans, Jameis Winston, uh, pairing him with Marquez Callaway, Deontay Harris, and Troutman. I mean, assuming what Mike, could go wrong? Well, no, but I mean, honestly, if Michael Thomas doesn't come back for them, doesn't that? I uh, mean, you have like the one, two, and three targets. Number one receiver, Taysom Hill. Don't forget him. Um, yeah, and and Sean, I was actually uh, poking around at my other super flex lineup, and I realized I uh, also have Daniel Jones and Mar- Marcus Mariota on that squad as well. So I'm I'm going all in on the uh, the legs of Marcus Mariota and Daniel Jones. I got Daniel Jones, Mariota, Hill, and Bridgewater. Mm, love it. Four starting quarterbacks: Jonathan Taylor, Dalvin Cook, Saquon <laughs> Barkley, and Cordell Patterson. That one almost slipped by me. Devontae Adams, Cortland Sutton, Kadarius Tony, Kenny Galladay, Russell Gage, Devontae Parker, Lavisca, Chenault, Sterling Shepard, and uh. Well, how do you say his first name? Olamide Zacchaeus. Olamide Zacchaeus. Are we saying that wrong? I feel like it might be Kyle Pitts, Alberto, and Ricky Seals Jones. 
All right. Drop the mic. All Let's right. go. We, I, we got to get lunch. I'm fucking hungry. Is that what's Thank going you on? For participating in the sports. That's Island why podcast. you didn't like my lineup. You, you're oh, hungry. your lineup's amazing, Ryan. Thank so you. proud of you guys. Again, subscribe to the YouTube. These are fun for you guys to hop in, draft against us, go head to head. Oh, the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green, and he is Ryan. Dable. Kramer, let it ride.